I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know what you've been called to do, what you've been called to accomplish, what you've been destined to build. It's time to take a deep dive into the deeper parts of yourself, the parts of you that nobody sees. When you take something personal, it gets personal. I'm not just putting on the front. I'm not just here in public to make you smile and applaud me and support me and make comments and share my video. I'm not here. I make this thing personal. Everything that I do in public, I've done it in private. And so I'm just asking you, don't just scream on a stage or be connected to millionaires or strive to be a CEO or an investor or a politician or an athlete or a musician or a singer. I'm just wondering, can you conquer in the dark? When you make it personal, what you do behind closed doors matters. So I'm just wondering when you're gonna make it personal. When you're gonna make it about what it looks like that nobody sees. The part of you that nobody sees, where's your integrity behind the scenes? Come on, where are your values behind the scenes? What do your habits look like behind the scenes? Come on, what kind of work are you putting in behind the scenes? Come on, drop down and give me 50. Come on, light it again. Come on, believe it again. Come on, sing again, record the song again. Come on, I'm talking to that athlete. I'm talking to that musician. Come on, who are you out there? That philosopher, that engineer, that thought leader, that critical thinker, come on, that captain of industry, I'm talking to you when your personal life lines up with your purpose. Then public authority is yours. You want influence? I'm not talking about just fame. I'm talking about influence, the power to change people's lives. Can you stretch yourself? Can you condition yourself? Come on, can you believe again? Can you see it again? Can you write again? Can you make this thing personal? That it doesn't start with the people connected to you. It starts with you. It doesn't even start with your past. It starts with where you are and where you're going. Can you look ahead? Can you stretch for it? Can you condition yourself? Can you prepare yourself for the next thing? Come on, make it personal. It doesn't start with everybody. It starts with me because people will leave you for dead. And then what's your why? What did God put in you? Release it to the world. If it's going to be personal, make it personal. Don't just be great in public, be great in private. What you do in dark, if I pulled up your search history, what would I find? Would you still be an example to the world? If I went through your closet, if I went through your basement, if I went through your attic, if I went through your center council, if I went through your house, how personal is your purpose? Every single day, you are either losing ground or gaining ground. The choice is yours. But this time, make it personal. If you're going to do it, if you're going to accomplish it, if you're going to achieve it, even if you're confused and it's cold and it looks crazy, and you're going to need to know the difference between contribution and commitment because they're two very different things. See, everybody wants to contribute to destiny, but nobody wants to be committed to destiny. You want to contribute to the idea that you can be something. You want to contribute to the idea that something's going to come of the sacrifice that you have made, but you have not sacrificed. You have not suffered. You are not committed. When you are committed, you give everything you have. Every single week, every single day, every single hour, every single minute, 720 hours a month, you are beating on your craft. Even when you're at work, you're dreaming, you're thinking, you're vision casting, you're writing it down, making it play, communicating to your destiny connections so that it can become a reality. If you can see it in your head, you can hold it in your hands. But the question I want to answer is, are you committed? I'm just wondering if you are bold enough, daring enough, if you can believe in your dream again, if you can get committed. See, when you get personal, when you make it personal, everything changes. Because you see, you made it about your girlfriend last time, you made it about your boyfriend last time. You made it about your kids last time. And your kids started acting up and then you let the dream go. It's got to start with you and God first. Listen, God put a gift inside of everybody. 
It is our responsibility to release it to the world. This time, it's personal. So do it for your loved ones. Do it for your wife. Do it for your husband. Do it for your children. Do it for generations to come. Come on, after you're dead and gone, what will they say about what you did? Yes, there's so many people depending on you, but it's got to start with you and the man upstairs. What he put in you, make it personal. Everything in my life breathes and eats this purpose that I have. I got to make it personal. It's, it's, it starts with me. When it starts with me, it ends with me. I don't know where you are in your game of life. You may be in your third quarter. You may be in your fourth quarter. Come on, you're not going to live forever. Not in this world. Come on. You may be in your first quarter, your, your second half. And this time it's got to be personal. See, last time you were just running through the plays. Last time you were just running the songs that you rehearsed in rehearsal. Last time you were just going through the motions and you got numb. Come on, and you got tired and weary. And now you're broken and bitter and angry because you lost. And I'm just wondering if you're courageous enough, bold enough, if you have enough faith. Come on, if you have enough inside of you, resilience, to come back to the scene and make it personal. It's rain, sleep, or snow. Keep building. And so this time it's gotta be personal. And you may not feel qualified. You may not feel like you are educated enough. You may not feel like you're connected enough. You may not think that enough people are aware of you, cognizant of you, because you don't have a blue check and you're not a celebrity yet. But you gotta work hard in silence. You gotta work when nobody's watching. You gotta sacrifice behind the scenes. You gotta take it personal. When you take it personal, your private life changes. Everybody wants public authority, but nobody wants private discipline. When your habits change behind the scenes, when your private life begins to shift, when you put aside the things that are not serving you, if you can make it personal, it's personal. It doesn't start with them and they. It starts with me. It starts with me. So make it personal. Let yourself go, fall free into it. Step into it, you are worthy. You are an unrepeatable miracle and there is none like you in all the earth. There will never be another you. Your DNA, your fingerprint, come on. Your gait, your presence, your authenticity, come on, you're special. You're special and you're necessary.